Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Skyworks gains patent for standoff cargo drone. Zero Evia joins EcoJet for hydrogen hybrid engines. And Spanish MOD acquires Airbus Surtat package. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Skyworks gains patent for standoff cargo drone. Skyworks Aeronautics has been busy in recent months, announcing sales, developments, and patents in a matter of weeks. Its most recent was an issued U.S. patent for its Precision Airdrop System, an airborne vehicle designed to deliver payloads much like a standoff munition. The PAS offers intermediate distance deliveries with a gliding stage to target before auto-rotating down to ensure precise landings. Quote, In essence, the PAS is a delivery vehicle that transforms from a stowed configuration initially to an unpowered fixed-wing glider after being dropped from a parent aircraft. And as the target drop region is reached, the fixed wings are folded or jettisoned, and unpowered rotor blades are deployed, converting the PAS into a glider rotor craft in the terminal phase of flight. It provides a gentle precision payload delivery within a radius of 3 meters or less. The size of the delivery is extremely flexible and can be scaled for small, medium, or large payloads." End quote. Skyworks holds out the design as a prime contender for humanitarian and logistical missions, highlighting its performance compared to more mundane equipment like unguided cargo drones. Coming up after the break, Rolls-Royce getting out of the electric game. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Flying is my entire life. It's all that I've ever known. I've relied on Hartzell propellers since about 1995. Hartzell means much more than a propeller. It's a relationship. When you hear the phrase, built on honor, they care about us as pilots, they care about our community, and they care about the product they build. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Rolls-Royce getting out of the electric game. Rolls-Royce's recent strategy release showed a minor pivot in the firm's plans to shore up its cash base over the coming years, even to the point of selling off their electric aviation wing to third parties. Chief Executive Tufan ergen Belgic said, quote, We are creating a high-performing, competitive, resilient, and growing Rolls-Royce that will have the financial strength to control and shape its own destiny, end quote. Most unusual in a field where competitors are constantly jumping into electric flight systems is that Rolls-Royce will bail on the game entirely. NASA conducts third RS-25 engine test ahead of Artemis. NASA finished the third of a series of 12 ground tests of the SLS rocket that will one day power Artemis program missions. The RS-25 engines are swinging for the fences in a change from the norm around NASA. Manned missions require a lot of thrust, and the aged handwork Saturn V was simply too difficult to recreate today without retreading significant design ground. The RS-25 will boast the best tech that they can build today, with all kinds of additive manufacturing and computer optimization, allowing for futuristic improvements in weight and output. EVE Air Mobility and Flynus I Saudi Arabian Developments EVE Air Mobility joined hands with Flynus in an MOU that promises to, quote, explore the future of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft operations in Saudi Arabia, end quote. 
Under the agreement, the partners will, quote, explore the possibility of starting eVTOL operations in Riyadh and Jeddah in 2026, end quote, though exactly what that entails was not revealed. Arian Space sets a date for next model launch. Arian Space is aiming to launch their Model 6 rocket between June 15th and July 31st next year, according to ESA sources. The first test flight won't exactly be a revenue launch, but it will contain a couple right along satellites, including two from NASA. The rocket has been long delayed, with work started nearly a decade ago when continental Europe aimed to build sufficient launch capability on its own turf. A second flight is expected by the end of next year, with a further target of 9 to 10 flights per year in 2025 and beyond. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Zero Avia joins EcoJet for hydrogen hybrid engines. Zero Avia found a like-minded partner abroad, finding a deal with up-and-comer EcoJet. EcoJet, a nascent carrier promising to be the flag carrier for Green Britain, will be open for business in 2024 using a fleet of standard transport aircraft for its routes to and from Edinburgh. Not long after, thanks to a deal with Zero Avia, the carrier hopes to retrofit the entire fleet with a firm ZA600 engines, whenever they're certified, of course. At the moment, Zero Avia is looking for a certification in 2025. Riding along with the recent news, EcoJet placed an order for the bigger, badder ZA2000 engine, which will power the regional market usually dominated by twin turboprops up to 80 seats. As it stands, Zero Avia sees the engines entering service in 2027. Val Mitikoff, Zero Avia CEO, said, quote, Clean aviation will mean increased regional air travel and new routes. EcoJet can capitalize based on their clear focus on low emission travel. The UK government's Jet Zero strategy has set a great example for the world to follow, but the UK can go much further by being early to act and introducing some of the first zero emission routes in the world. End quote. And after these messages, Spanish MOD acquires Airbus SirTap package. Welcome back. Spanish MOD acquires Airbus SirTap package. Airbus finalized a deal with the Spanish Ministry of Defense for the development and acquisition of SirTap, a high-performance tactical UAS that will reinforce the tactical capabilities of the Spanish Army and the Air and Space Force. The contract will include nine total systems, each including a suite of three uncrewed aircraft and one control station. To help provide cost-effective training, a pair of simulators will be included, too. SirTap sports a payload of 330 pounds and a range of 1,200 miles. Its 20-hour endurance provides a flexible, stationable, responsive day and night operator even in controlled airspace. All of that remains somewhat theoretical at the moment, with the first prototype flight expected to take place in 2025. jean bryce Dumont, head of military air systems at Airbus Defense and Space, said, quote, this new technological milestone in the tactical UAS segment, together with the Spanish Ministry of Defense, will reinforce national sovereignty. SIRTAP will be fully developed in Spain, integrating national capabilities. However, thanks to its versatility and the use of ITAR-free components, we also expect it to play a key role on the international market." End quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.